What's going on everybody, it's Falchion with you once again, and once again we are here unboxing my world, and uh, well, we're not going to need the knife today because once again I messed up and um, <laughs> I filmed the unboxing before, and it was completely, like not completely, but enough out of frame where it just, it was horrible, unusable footage, so... Unfortunately, everything is already cut into and cut up and, and done, but um, we're still going to unbox this for you guys. So I repackaged, repackaged it the way it came, and um, let's get into this. This. So if you watched uh, my unboxing of my 8-bit dough, I told you there were, there were a couple of other uh, controllers that I wanted to get, and this is the one that um, I'm most looking forward to. This is the MOGA by Power A. This is the XP Ultra version. And um, this is an amazing controller. Um, part of me wants to say it's the perfect controller, but I can't go that far. I, I Part of me does want to, but I can't, I, I really can't do that. But um, let's let's check out some uh, features of it here. Hopefully you guys can uh, see this as well. But uh, I'm going to read it to you. Specifications are the battery capacity is uh, 2,000 milliamp hours. The Bluetooth is 4.20 uh, low, low energy. Not sure what that means. Right now I'm just uh, giving you facts off the box. Uh, maximum phone dimensions is 3.25 inches wide by 0.33 inches thick um, and in centimeters that's 8.25 centimeters by 0 0.8 centimeters uh, may not be uh, compatible with thicker phone cases um, the system requirements is that you need as, as far as Android goes you need a, a, a 6.0 or better or newer or what have you um, in the box is the MOGA XP Ultra Controller, detach detachable, dual articulating clip, 10 foot uh, braided USB-C, um, USB-C to USB-A cable, and uh, a quick start guide. So, let's check out the back of the box. This is where you're going to see some of the really cool features of it, and, and it should stand out to you already that the handle of the controller can de detach from the controller itself uh, also the the clip is detachable too um just for uh, uh references um and that's what makes this such a great controller because for me that means this this mini part of the controller which still has full functionality of a controller it just doesn't have some of the some extra features uh, which we'll get into in, in just a, a, a bit here. Um, I can throw this into my... my uh, can't really see it here. Just the camera. My my bag here, my, my everyday carry bag here, and it has plenty of room, whereas a full-size controller might be a little too tight and maybe not fit at all, just depending on how quickly I pack it and and what have you. So, um, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get into the the unboxing here. And um, later on, I'll show you how 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 that fits in there. And uh, yeah, let's do this. So every now and again, right, you'll get a company that really knows how to, oh, I've got it upside down, that really knows how to present their product as far as uh, the way it's boxed or what have you. And uh, Power A here is one of those companies. This is a beautiful box with my fingerprints all over it, but hopefully you'll be willing to excuse that. But uh, this, is, this is a nice display right here. This is, this is a display that I'm gonna use, right? This, uh, um, when I when I put put this away, um, it's this is going back in its box. Is basically what I'm trying to say. So uh, 
here we have uh, everything in the box and let me uh, dive under the box to get what's uh, under this display por portion to get what's in there out. Um, so pull that, just pull that stuff out like that. Here you get, um, I'm not gonna flip it. Um, although it doesn't really matter but i'm not i'm not gonna flip it uh, just just for the sake of the sake of it uh here you get a uh, one month of game pass alt uh ultimate i will say that the code one here did not work um it didn't say uh that the code has been used so that's not the issue um for for whatever reason the code was not recognized. Uh, I just want to be honest with you guys about that, that kind of thing. Um, I don't know if that's something that happens often or what have you, but it happened to me and I just want to be, like I said, honest and transparent. So, but you do get, um, and also I reached out to them, uh, put in a, like a, a, a ticket or whatever. So, um, and they have not had even the time yet to, to get back to me on that. So, um, Hopefully, there'll be a stand-up company and, and rectify the situation. I don't know why they wouldn't, but yeah. I'm supposed to get uh, a month of Game Pass Ultimate. That in and of itself is pretty decent. Um, what's that, like a $17, um, $17 add-on for you there. You get, I'm not going <laughs> to unravel this right now, but it, it is definitely a 10 foot braided cord USB C to USB A, as you can see in there, or vice versa, however you want to say it. Um, so, yeah, that comes in there. This is a quick start guide here. It's just a uh, flip out card that uh, kind of gets you started on everything. As well as the detachable clip, just putting everything to the side right now. And then the controller itself. Let me uh, go ahead and close this box up and get it out of the way. And we can get into this. So, really cool things. Um, if you're going to be using this with your mobile phone, and unfortunately I can't show you this because I use my phone for filming, um, this clip is, is really nice. Um, w, double articulated, so two articulation points. Um, again, I read to you the specs on the size of phone that it can carry. I have put my phone in this, and I have my phone is a uh, Z Fold. So, and then with the um, case on it, my phone is pretty big, but it does fit in here, but it's heavy. So if you're gonna use it with a heavier phone, you do wanna be careful. Um, you know, if you're, you're, if you're a gamer who's animated in the hands, um, that's not me, but if that's you and you're too animated in the hands, I could see this um, actually flying out of um a heavier phone i should say flying out of this i and that, that's just a, a personal fear that i have um that may or may not be the case but uh let me show you how this clips on it to here because it's a very secure clip to the controller whereas you have um kind of a lever here a, a jaw type action with a let's just call it since we're calling it a jaw type action with a huge tooth there that actually hooks into here like so and push it and it clips in and that is a very secure um attachment to the controller i mean this is not easily at all releasing from the controller and then the articulation just has these little thumb screws that you can tighten here again I, I apologize not being able to show it show this with my phone in it but i like i said i use my phone for filming uh just not that advanced as everyone else yet um so <laughs> but yeah that's and um 
you know, you, you can get these really tight, these thumb screws really tight. And my fear may be unfounded and probably is. It has great jaws here um, to, to not let your phone come forward, right? Out of, out of uh, the clip, right? Again, the, the top, just like most clips, extends and then holds down on your phone. There are uh, rubber pieces in here that, um, here, let me get down a little bit and show you. There are rubber pieces in here that um, you're not gonna mar your phone, but, and they're also gonna really grip your phone. It has, sorry about that, uh, I rubbed the mic against the controller. Has a really great rubber back in here. Again, you're not gonna mar your phone, and it's gonna add that little bit more grip. Um, but like I said, if you're a person who gets really animated with your controls, and I mean, some people are that way, believe it or not, like, <laughs> um, I would be worried about a heavier phone, um, possibly slipping out. But again, that is just, <clears throat> pardon me, a personal fear that I have, um, you know, I'm, I'm not on the level where I can just destroy my phone even by accident, um, and, and, uh, easily replace it. I mean, yeah, my phone is insured or whatever, but you, you, you understand what I'm saying. So I, that's something that, um, I would be cautious about or what have you, if you decide to, to, to game on your phone. Uh, so there's that. I did see, um, I'm on their website here. Um, you can kind of see, uh, just so that I could, any talking points that I may need to to check out, I, I can easily do that. But I did see on their website, somebody asked if uh, the the ROG Ally would fit in this jaw, in, in this clip. No, uh, not at all. The, this thing is, the ROG Ally is way too big and I don't know why you would wanna do that. Like if you're holding, because I got this for my ROG Ally, um, just so that it's, just so that you know. Um, but if you're holding it and, and your screen is here or whatever, why wouldn't you just use the the um, the on on the device uh, controller, right? Um, but if you did decide to do that, this doesn't extend high enough to, to clamp it in and it would be way too heavy. Like, again, nervous about having my phone in there. Well, not me personally, I mean, because again, I don't move my, my hands wildly around, but you know, I would be nervous if, if that's the type of gamer I were, um, to have my phone, my personal phone in there because it is so heavy, especially with the case on it. Um, and the cases for the fold is not easily removable. Um, so yeah, the rogue ally, ROG ally, however, however it said will not fit in there. Um, just, just so that you know, um, what else? So, oh, uh, let me oh, listen to this too. Like you really have to push on that to, to unclip it. So that is, that's a secure, that is secure to the controller for sure. Um, on here, you do have two bird buttons, uh, right? This is the programmable button for the bird buttons. Uh, if, if you're new around here, I call these bird buttons because it's the, the, um, the, these buttons you you will push with your middle fingers um, in, a, in a, just a natural position. And here in the US, your middle finger is, is the bird, right? So just for uh, anybody new um, for that, um, you have your basic Xbox controller controls. So your, your start, your back, uh, X, Y, A, B, um, your shoulder buttons and your, your triggers, um, that's R, B and L, B. Um, your offset sticks with button clicks, your Xbox button itself and your share button. Um, this button, you know, I have not seen anything on that. Uh, to me, that just indicates your battery, how much battery charge you have. Um, there could be more to it than that. It does have a three and a half millimeter jack here. Um, it sits a little bit low, lower than um, maybe you're used to, but I don't, I can't really see that that's an issue. 
but if it's if it has a really thick housing and I'm not saying that I've ever seen uh, this or that it would be a problem, but if that's the case, if it had a really thick housing with the the uh, hand grip on here, that it may be an issue uh, connecting there because the, the the jack is actually on the mini controller itself. Um, spoke about that, spoke about those. Textured grips, uh, feels really good in the hand, feels, Honestly, in this configuration, it feels like an Xbox button. Uh, you can feel the, the bird buttons on the back, but I don't think you're going to actually, uh, I don't think you're going to be accidentally pressing those just because they don't rest, your fingertips don't rest on those buttons. Um, so it is an active roll of the hand, and I like that personally. I, I don't know that everybody would, but for me, that's really good. It's a it's a slight roll of the hand, to or a or a good squeeze at least, to uh, activate those buttons. So um, yeah, I I don't think you're gonna, I don't think most people are gonna be accidentally uh, pressing those buttons. Um, but the the huge feature and what makes this great to me is this here. Uh, so you have this switch here. It's actually a little bit of an ejection, so that's why I was holding my hand. And then, so the 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 handle with the the rumble uh, rumble motors are in this as well. Um, completely detaches, and you have like this mini gamepad, right? So um, I, of course, did a little bit of research, watch people. Um, messing with this before I actually decided to get it and a lot of people say that this is super uncomfortable and I could see that being the case for for a lot of people right um it isn't for me it did take some getting used to took me about 30 minutes to get used to um I will admit um and and I'm going to be showing you a, I'm going to be shooting a video of me using this at uh some point once I really get into it and and know what's going on especially i want to to solve i want to make sure this issue gets resolved one way or another um so that i can tell you hey this is an honorable com company or, or or no but um the size of this of course makes this uncomfortable for people it, it's tiny right it's i mean it's tiny but for me personally, it it's 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 kind of a throwback to like my Super Nintendo days, right? And and the the, the days in the beginning of, of game pads, and they were this size. They didn't have analog sticks, right? But they were about this size, and so it just took a little bit of of uh, retraining my hands to get used to it again. Um, you're not gripping them like like normally would right normally you'd have have uh you know these hand grips down here in your hands to to grip this and uh, you don't have that um what i do and uh I, I find this the easiest way is see and you see how it is in my hand right now you know I'm, i i a little bit of pressure and uh my hands to towards one another right and that grips it and then it rests on my middle fingers, right? So if I release that pressure, you can see it's resting on my middle fingers. So that's that's my grip for it, right? And then um, no problem with with the buttons, um, you know, no problem reaching anything. It's it, it is just tiny, and it it no longer feels anywhere near like a, an xbox controller in this configuration i will admit that and again if if you're my age or whatever or a little bit you know, like a tiny bit younger or whatever and um you played with like i said a super nintendo or a nintendo or whatever uh this this is gonna feel familiar not exactly the same but definitely familiar and uh, you're probably not going to have any real issue getting used to it um you know if you're a lot younger than i am and, and you never had to deal with those smaller game pads or what have you i could see this being uh really difficult for you to get used to and and it being really uncomfortable um i have played with this um what was i playing 
uh, oh, Fallout 76. My buddy just started playing Fallout 76. I, so I have played with this in this configuration for about three hours and um, had no problems, no no hand fatigue. Sur kind of surprising, right? Um, you would think that you would get hand fatigue with it, um, with something this small, but especially if you have uh, hands relatively large as mine. I mean, I wear a large glove, so... Um, you would think that, but that hasn't been an issue. Again, you can see here that this is where the, the uh, three and a half millimeter jack is. And here, no problem that the housing can be as big as, as a house, <laughs> right? Um, and and it is, it's not going to be a problem. But um, getting past, you know, this could be an issue if the housing is bigger than this. Um, and because it's still, it's, it's a little bit. I, you probably can't really tell, but it's a little bit thick in there. And so um, if the housing doesn't fit into there, that could be an issue. Um, or if it's like a 90 degree, if, if the housing makes like a 90 degree turn, that could be an issue as well. Um, but um, yeah, and it, it quite easily slips back in there. Oh, I did want to show you. So um. This is my my uh, my bag that I carry my uh, ROG Ally in, <clears throat> and um, and all the accessories minus a screen, right? A larger screen. And um, first, before I just pull everything out, let me show you that um, the the great thing about this, the, the thing that really. Uh, has me hype for this is um that i can just take this you know and it it fits right in here right right in here now i will admit that um i would like something um like what's it? I, I think is i think it's linus tech tips they have something in their store that keeps sticks uh, stable or whatever so you can see if it fits it just fits in there right wrong uh, thing it just fits in there and boom you can secure the bag I could lock it if I wanted to um, I'm not gonna go through that hassle because it is kind of a hassle but it fits in there really nicely um, for my gaming on the go I could leave um, you know the handle part at home or what have you um, because sometimes you just want to uh, put the screen down, right? Uh, you don't want to hold the ally sometimes. Uh, or same with uh, the Steam Deck or, or whatever handheld you might have. But so you can see, like, in here is my my ally, which is here in the, the case. Um, and it makes that case that that ROG Ally case more viable too. Um, but also in here, I, I have uh, my this is my keyboard, my Logitech keyboard, um, just to show you that that's in there, and uh, my mouse is in there, and uh, it's not in there uh, because I have it charging. Uh, I have I'm I'm using it over here uh but my my uh power brick or whatever for charging the ally is in goes in there too it, it fits nicely in the bottom um but i mean you get the idea and so that's what makes this uh very viable for me um this small uh the the mini pad as they call it um may may or may not be for you but who it might be for of you guys watching is if you have children, right? Small children who this in this configuration, this is too big for their hands, right? Then this just becomes a real godsend for you. And are you spending one hundred and twenty dollars for a controller for for your kids? Probably not. But this is this doesn't this isn't just for your kids right this is something that you can use 
um, as a full size controller. And then when your kids want to play, you undock it from from uh, the grips and boom, they have a controller that's perfectly sized for their tiny hands. Right. Um, because this is going to feel like a full size controller in, in a child's hands. Um, so is this for everybody? Probably not, but nothing ever is for everybody. Right. Um, but, uh, there are case uses for this and the design of this, this, this is the modularity of being able to detach, um, the grips and, and, and use the mini pad. Oh, and I also wanted to definitely show you that, uh, the clip still is easily a part of this. Um, if you're using it like this. Now I could see this being, I actually, that's something I need to try. Um, cause I can see this being really awkward, really, uh, uncomfortable having a phone on this mini pad, but maybe not. Um, I, I haven't tried that yet. I, I haven't gamed on my phone with it at all. Uh, so, um, I'll do that. And again, when I do like a, an actual review, this is once again, just an unboxing. Um, when I do an actual review of this, um, I will have messed with that a little bit and, and I'll let you know, uh, my thoughts on that. But yeah, this video is getting a little long in the tooth. And so I'm going to start wrapping it up here. This is power A's Moga XP ultra gaming controller. Very modular. They, they call it a four in one and the four in one is, Imagine, um, so the controller and with the clip, the mini mini pad with the clip, um, the full controller with the clip, the full controller without the clip, and then the mini pad without, without the clip that that's the four in one of this, um, again, you get one month of game pass ultimate. Yes, my code didn't work, but that could just be unlucky on my part. I did reach out to them waiting to hear back. They haven't had a moment. They haven't had time because I, I did it just before I started filming this. So they haven't had time to respond, um, especially depending on where in the world they are and how busy they are. I understand that it says it could take one to two days. Happy to wait that. No problem. Um, Again, it comes with it comes with this beautiful display box, which I am I'm absolutely going to be using. Um, I, I like companies that think so much of their product that um, they want a nice. They, they, they also leave you with a nice way to uh, display it um, as well. So if you're interested in this, the MOGA. Uh, Ultra XP Ultra is 100 at the time of filming is $120. Um, I got mine off of Amazon. You can get, uh, excuse me, $129.99. So $130, excuse me. Um, here, let me uh, see if I can bring this into view. Uh, again, this is at the time of filming. Uh, depending on when you go after it, maybe more, maybe less. Uh, you can also get it here on their own website, uh, same price. Um, and free shipping here uh, for anything over $49. Uh, of course, if you get it on Amazon, you're gonna get uh, free shipping as well, or at least if you have Prime. Um, again, comes with a controller. Um, it comes with uh, 10 foot braided cable. So it's, it's really nice quality cable. I, I, I should say, uh, it comes with a phone clip and a, again, it's modular. So it has the mini pad as well as the, the, um, the grip, the handle grip, the handle grip does have bird buttons on the back as well as rumble motors. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is a excellent controller. I really like it. It is getting up there in price, um, you know, for, for a few dollars more, especially if you're looking for this for your Xbox, um, you can get, uh, Xbox's own, um, elite controller, elite two controller, 
for just a few dollars more, what have you. So that may be the way you want to go. Um, but um, again, if you're like me and I like specific controllers for specific devices, this controller is going to specifically be for my ROG Ally unless I find something else to go better with it. I am looking to get our, um, uh, ROGs. Uh, their own controller um, that's that's probably gonna be my next uh, big purchase um, my next purchase I should say um, uh, da, 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 da. but for now this that's why I've got this for the, the ROG ally and um, you know if you're a person like me who, who, who does things like that look into this for sure if you have children that you allow to game with you as far as Xbox, this, oh, that I should mention that this only connects to the Xbox wirelessly. Uh, I should, I, that, that's, that's an important, uh, uh, thing to note. Um, I don't know why or how that works, why, why you can't plug it in with a cord, but, um, the eight bit though, like the one that I have, I can't plug that in and use. I can't use it with my Xbox at all. Um, but that's another video coming up. But uh, you should know that it only it, it does only hook up to it wirelessly. Um, it does hook up to PC uh, wired. Um, so, and that's how I I've used it uh, thus far. Uh, but uh, if you're you're hooking it up to Xbox, uh, just know that you you do have to be wireless, which most people prefer anyways, right? Um, again, 129.99 US at the time of uh, filming. Uh, if you order it from them directly, it's uh, free shipping because it's more than $49. Um, again, I got mine off of Amazon, which is free shipping as well, because I'm a, uh, at the very least because I'm a Prime member. Um, awesome controller. I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. I can't wait to get more into it. Um, again, um, look in the future for a full on review of the controller where I will um, let you know how it is um, while it's attached to my phone. I can't show you that, of course, but I will let you know how it is playing with, with my phone and the full fat version of it and also the, the mini pad version of it. Um, awesome controller. Guys, I'm going to get out of here. I know you have things to do. I have things to do. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me and uh, checking out this uh, unboxing of Power A's Amoga XP Ultra or wireless controller. Um, good with mobile, PC, and Xbox consoles. Uh, yeah, uh, a, a month of free uh, Game Pass Ultra. Ultimate, ultimate. Uh -huh. I'm looking at the word ultra. Game Pass Ultimate, a month free of Game Pass Ultimate, and it's a nice controller. You can't go wrong. Um, the something people are gonna ask about, and I know it. And um, I'm a person that likes the hybrid D-pad. If you don't, that may be off-putting for you, just to let you know. But I love it. Um, it feels really good. Everything feels really good in the hand really playable really fun and yeah so <laughs> that's gonna be it for me again thank you for hanging out until next time this has been Fauci and you know me I'm Ghost two fingers is peace later